Well, I hope you mothers had a wonderful Mother's Day and all the rest of you. I hope you had a great weekend and you were able to get out and enjoy the celestial events that we had over the past couple of days. Saturday night, we had the northern lights that streaked across the sky and this morning, Yes, we did have Mercury that moved right in front of the sun. Now, of course, you needed binoculars and some protective eye gear to actually see that, but clear skies were in place to do so, and it looks like we'll continue to see more of them as we head on into the evening and uh, for the majority of our Tuesday. But here's a look at the satellite and radar composite. It does look like a lot of this is trying to work its way closer to, to us, but high pressure and full control, so that will really dissipate any clouds that look to come northward or keep them very thin, and it's especially the rain chances, they look to stay way off to our south. A look at our current temperatures at 59 degrees. Very sunny out there with winds out of the southeast around 12 miles per hour. 59 for us in Marquette. As you head farther westward, we are seeing more of those numbers in the 60s. Down here into Crystal Falls, 60 degrees. Ironwood at 66, lower 50s in Ontonagon, and sitting in those lower 50s also in Houghton at 50 degrees on the dot. 55 in Munising, 55 in Manistique, 54 in Escanaba, and upper 50s in Ishpeming. So temperatures either just around that average mark or maybe even a few degrees above it right now. But winds are a bit breezy, 12 in Escanaba, 8 miles per hour in Munising, also with 12 as you head up here into Houghton. A look at your current temperatures, upper 50s and 60s as you go across the UP, more of the 60s and uh, maybe even getting closer to 70 as you head down into Flint at 69 degrees. But other than that, it's a really relatively quiet day for us and it looks to remain on the quiet side as we head on into the evening. So for tonight, it should be clear and chilly with the overnight temperatures getting closer to that freezing mark, if not maybe just a few degrees above it. The sun it just keeps on shining for us as we head on to Tuesday and then clouds they are on the increase as we head into Tuesday night. Not a lot of them, but we'll definitely see more as we head on into Wednesday evening and going on into Wednesday night. A look at our setup right now shows our area of low pressure off to our west, well off to our west. Not really making, making much headway north and eastward, though. High pressure just off to the north of Superior is keeping this all to our south and will keep us on the quiet side as we go on into tomorrow. And a look at tomorrow's forecast shows where all the rain will be across the lower peninsula, the southern portions of the lower peninsula down across Wisconsin and, is, and definitely as you go down into Indiana and in Illinois. Your future cast model for tonight, very clear skies will be in place. Maybe a few clouds as we head on into the evening, but you can see uh, not really seeing a lot until we get into tomorrow night and going into Wednesday. That's when the clouds really begin to uh, increase for us just a bit, but rain chances still remaining off to our south and to our west before we eventually get closer to Thursday, and that's when our rain chances do look to pick up for us. But for tonight, we'll see our numbers drop down to 32, a chilly May evening with winds out of the southeast between 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, we'll see more of those mild conditions, more of the sun, and also winds will pick up, so it'll be a bit breezy out there. Winds around 10 to 20 out of the southeast. 58 for your high in Lawrence at 63 in Ontonagon, lower 60s in Iron Mountain, while in the upper 50s in Escanaba and Manistique, Immunising looks to top off at 60 degrees. Now for a look at your seven day forecast, more of those 60s Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday as temperatures will be just a few degrees above those averages. Uh, clouds definitely increasing for us Wednesday and definitely will be here as we head into Thursday with the rain chances coming in. Friday will keep more of the rain chances around, but will become a bit more cool as you'll see temperatures dropping off into the 40s for highs and even cooler as we head into Saturday with a high of 45. So not quite done with this kind of cooler pattern that we're in. It does look to come right back for us as we go on into the end of the week with highs only in the 40s. That will knock our lows down into the 30s and then hopefully we'll begin to rebound by next Sunday and Monday.